2023, Chief Dan Olasi is contradicting himself by supporting Article Kenneth Okonkwo. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. To get notified on post hot juicy news update, please click on the notification bell. Kenneth Okonkwo, the spokesperson of Liberal Party presidential candidate Peter Obi, has said that Chief Dan Olasi is contradicting himself by supporting the People's Democratic Party PDP presidential candidate Atiku Abubakar. Chief Olasi, the technical advisor on content and mobilization southeast of the Atiku's campaign team, has often spoken highly of Atiku of what Atiku did to help the South is and why he thinks he is the best for the country. But speaking about Olasi's position in an interview, Okonkwo said, and I quote, In 2023, he, Olasi, is telling the Igbos to support Atiku Abubakar. First of all, uh, first of all, I find this very contradictory. Chief Dan Olasi was the man that told the whole world that Shehu Shagare told him that the reason why his people, fellow Fulanis, ever threw him in government was because they did not want an Igbo man, Alex Ekwame, to be president. The same Dan Olasi is now campaigning for Atiku Abubakar, who is a full far speaking Fulani Northern Muslim, to succeed another full field speaking Fulani Northern Muslim to govern Nigeria for an unbroken period of 16 years. And unfortunately, the same Dan Olasi is now campaigning against a, president, a presidential candidate from the Southeast which even the presidential candidate he's campaigning for has openly come out to say it is a ton of a South is to produce a president. You can imagine Chief Dan Lassie is coming back to eat his vomit. <laughs> well, uh, I do not expect politicians, most especially, and do you know what? This is exactly the problem. It is because of this kind of attitude of southeastern governors that make their people lose interest in politics. When it is time to come out and do things, these people will come out and their people will support them. But when it is time for another, when it is now more than governorship, you understand, they need people to come out. You will see them leaving their very own to support another. And that is the crime here. That is a crime. You cannot say the people are crying marginalization. Do you understand me? They voted you in. They gave you their mandate for what I call governorship election. They gave you their votes. They came out and voted pretty well for you. And then when it is time, these people have been crying marginalization. Oh, these people, they don't practice inclusive government. Then your another person that is not you came out and said, do you know what? Let me go. Let me contest. And he is contesting. And instead of saying, okay, oh, says all this while, our people have been crying marginalization. When I say our people, I don't mean political, um, um, what do you call I don't mean, I mean politicians, who I mean the common people have been saying, I think things are not going well for us because the, the, the head, at the head, they don't put us, they don't include us in, thing, in things. So, you know, because of that, they know they sideline us when it comes to appointment, allocation of funds, resources. It is not equal. They always sideline us and, you know, exclude us. And so people are crying marginalization. Now I have someone in the race. Instead of those people, those governors that the people have given their mandate to, who come out and support their own, not only because he's from the region, even if they support him because he's from the region, Seth, is it a crime? All this right, all this while, the Northerners has been supporting Northerners. The Yorubas have been supporting, um, the, I mean, the Westerners have been supporting Westerners. So how is it a crime? Because, why should it be a crime? Because they support him because he is from the region. One, and this time around, this is not only, this man is not just only from the region. He is one of the most competent in the race. So what are you talking about? So you can see why the people are like, ah. Uh -uh. Are these people playing? Which kind of playing is this? You understand? They're like, this thing, you know, makes sense. 
it doesn't make sense at all. It doesn't make any sense. How can we be crying marginalization and these people are, you know, are going to support others? Why? Make them for remain for their position. Is it not easy? To me, it is like somehow. You see this new electoral, this electoral act. I love it. Sincerely. I so love it. And see, I want them to sign more. Number one, they should sign more. If you don't do or perform well, then kick your, your bum bum come off of that place. I did tell you. Because truly, the mandates of the people get to stand. Then if you do anyhow, eh, the second tenure, they will come out to you. To be very sincere. These are the Judas Iscariots of the South, East and South South. The same article that refused to allow Southern turn of producing the next president. Who said the North does not need an evil president or Yoruba president. What they need is him. Is he who is supporting you are part of the reason South East cannot be president as long as you practice tribal policy. Eh? Whenever you bring this issue of tribal politics, sometimes I cringe at the thought because Southwesterners have been supporting Southwesterners. Do you understand? Southwesterners and Southwesterners have also been supporting non-Southwesterners. The same way the Southeastern region. Has anybody from the Southeastern region ever been president? No. Ever been vice president? I mean this most recent return of the democracy. No. Now, what are you saying? How can you say these people are practicing tribal politics? If you think the reason people of the southeastern region don't vote is because none of their owners come out, and I'm saying it is not true. These people vote. The people that make them lose interest in politics is their governors. Check them well. These people, they know they do it. They don't do things right. So anybody that did not support P2B have committed a crime. That is not what Ogunko said. He is only saying that Olasi is saying, you know, this person that he make, he talks say, now because of, he no not want to make Igbo president come out. They don't want him to succeed as Igbo president. And then, when it is time for you to support you, you are still taking the same path. That's what Ken Ogunko said. He never said supporting another candidate is a crime. Of course, there is no how, even if you go from the South, there is no how all the South Easterners will vote for you. It does not happen. Okay. Ken, I do not waste your time on Olasi case. Main looking at him, you will see a confused man who is trying to gain popularity in the most negative form. Ignore him is a nobody. Anybody, any man who is rejected home and abroad, forget him. The man that hired him never know that he hired. Oh my goodness, that is too brutal. Watching very well, you see irrationality in his looks. Well, I say again, no, I cannot vote wisely. This is not a time to come and stay and you start practicing that um, tribal politics. This is not a time you are going to start releasing your the, the, bigot, the religious bigots in you. Vote wisely and vote rightly. Okay, on this name, we have come to the name of the news. End of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come here next time, enjoy the rest of your